Because, I mean, you get as much capital as you produce. Let, let me finish, right? So you think Steve Jobs sits around in an office shuffling paper, yelling at people, and being obnoxious, right? And, and he gets $2 billion for doing that. No. Steve Jobs is the guy who makes it possible for millions of people to have jobs. Those jobs wouldn't exist unless he had the vision, had the insight, had the ideas, the organizational skill, the productive ability to imagine iPhones, and then to assemble an entire supply chain from 50 different countries to bring it all together so that somebody could put all the stuff together and, 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 and actually do the little bit of physical labor, which in a few years a robot will do, and there'll be no jobs in that, um, in order to assemble the iPhone. But the fact is that the, 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 the productive, what Steve Jobs does is worth billions of dollars. What I do, I, I speak in front of groups like you, right? It's not worth billions of dollars. It, it's not. Now, yeah, I mean, you might have an argument. It's, not, it's, it's a negative value. But uh, I get it. But it's, it's not worth because I, I don't access billions of people. Steve Jobs did. I don't change the world in the same way Steve Jobs did. I don't produce a, 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 a concrete benefit to humanity in the moment the way Steve Jobs did. He produced billions of dollars. Every billionaire out there, again, in a free market, in a relatively free market, is that productive. And the people who do the, the simple jobs of assembling an iPhone are not that productive. They, how, many, how many iPhones can one person assemble? That, you know, and, it, and all he does is one little piece in an entire supply chain. But the brain power, the, the insight, the, the vision that had to go into imagining the whole thing and then putting it all together is a gazillion times more productive than that one person. Yeah, because his capital remains productive. His capital is not static. If the capital is static, he'll lose it all. Why is he not producing anything more? He's, he's, he's imagining future iPhones. He's imagining ITVs. He's imagining new uh, Mac minis. He's, he's constantly working. By what standard? How do you decide? So, so let's say we decide to pay the guys in China uh, 10 times what they make today. And, and it has an impact on your, your iPhone price goes up. And a certain percentage of you, not you in this room, but a certain percentage out there can't buy the iPhone anymore because it's a little bit more expensive. And uh, they stop buying it. So the number of iPhones shrinks and some people lose their jobs. And that's okay with you? By what standard? How do you decide how much to pay somebody? No, it's not central authority. The, the fact is, it's not central authority how much you get paid at all. Your pay is determined by how productive you are and by the competition for your labor. And that is determined by how productive you are. The more productive you are, the more you will earn. And if you follow people in China who started out with sweatshops, as they learn the skill, as they become more productive, their wages go up. Some of them go up dramatically. Because, not because of the benevolence of their managers of Apple, but because they're worth more to Apple. So Apple pays them more. And why are they worth more to Apple? Because they're more productive to Apple. Now, why is the capital keep earning after Steve Jobs is gone? Because the capital still keeps working. So I, I invest in, in, in companies. And my investment is what makes it possible for those companies to hire new people and to create new products and to grow their business and to create the economic activity that all of you benefit from. So the capitalists put more effort and more thought and more work than most other people. And that's why they benefit the most. The, the, the pyramid, Marx's pyramid of exploitation is upside down. The, most, the people who contribute the most to an economy, the people who contribute the most to wealth creation are the capitalists and the management. And the people who contribute the least to wealth creation and to production are the workers. That's why they get paid the least. It doesn't mean morally they're different, it's just economically they contribute the least thank you for listening or watching the iran brook show if you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me you get value from listening you get value from watching show your appreciation you can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support by going to patreon subscribe star locals 
and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.